Better Picks is a must-have app, and I'm gonna be breaking down exactly why in this one today. Got two six picks that I did already lock in here this morning that I did already send into my VIP. I'm gonna be sharing them to the channel for free today, guys. Locking these in in a six pick dynamic play for those of you that are new to better picks. A few things you need to know. One, if you don't have the app, get it right now. Download it. Use the promo code KJKDFS. They're going to match you up to $250. So your first deposit is going to be matched up to $250. Massive deposit match. Two, we're going to be wanting to play five and six pick dynamic plays. And what's really cool about better picks in comparison to price picks is if we pull up the payout breakdown for six pick dynamic plays. If you get four out of six correct, you're actually going to profit. So you can see here, uh, my breakdown, they're allowing me to put up to $250 for the NBA playoffs. So that is what I'm playing here. And a four out of six correct entry is going to get you 262.50 back, 1.05x your money. Five correct is going to get you 1.25x back. And six correct is going to get you 20x. So you don't get that double when you go five for six, but if you go four for six, you're actually profiting money, which is a huge difference long-term for those of you that have been playing on price picks for quite some time. Uh, you might notice the difference very quickly of, you know, those four out of six tickets, you know, not hurting quite as bad over on better picks. So there's a couple things to uh, get out of the way, some great features about the app. And lastly, you're not going to be able to get any one of these picks on prize picks because there are no pushes on better picks. So we'll discuss what a push is. A push is, as you can see on the screen, I have Jamal Murray's over 9.5 rebounds and assists as one of my picks here in this better picks video today. So we can start things off with him on the screen behind him, though, on the prize picks app, he is at 10.0 even. We'll discuss why that is. We'll go pick by pick here on the breakdown, but pretty much, I'll sum it up for you real quick. There's good value on the over 9.5 rebounds and assist props. So what PrizePix has done is they've gone ahead and they've put it at 10 even to not get beat too badly because if they would have set it at 9.5, the value is simply too good. They don't want the users to have that much of an edge to beat them that badly on the app. You know, they got to stay in business. That's how all these apps work. You want to make it difficult to beat them and Better Picks has gone ahead and said, we're not going to include pushes on our app. So the only thing that could possibly happen on this Jamal Murray prop on Better Picks is he could either go up to 10.5 or he could go down to 8.5 or he could just get taken off the board, which is a possibility. Uh, but let's get into the breakdown. I'm going to have two six pick dynamic plays for you over on Better Picks here today. Possibility some of these props get removed uh, and or bumped, uh, but there will be no pushes. And lastly if you're sick of uh, tuning into my videos if it seems like the props are constantly getting bumped or not available after you tune into my videos there's a reason for that once again it's because these apps are going to change props where there is good value you can get access to every single one of my tickets as soon as i place them i'm sharing real tickets that i am playing myself and sending over to the vip as much as i can on the channel to provide free value but you can't beat the vip because you're going to get it instantly as soon as i place it to beat those bumps to get the best value and to capture the best possible props, all of the concepts I'm talking about in these videos, that is going to be where you want to head. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the breakdown. We have six picks that you cannot get on prize picks that you can on that you can get on better picks, and we'll discuss exactly why they're bumped on prize picks and exactly why they are good props tonight. First prop we're going to discuss is that Jamal Murray 9.5 rebounds and assists. Already discussed how it is bumped on prize picks, so we cannot capture this value on prize picks, but we can get it on better picks, and we'll explain exactly why this is a good prop. Go ahead and pull up the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, guys. For those of you that are not familiar with the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, you can get 25% off your first month with the promo code KJKDFS. What this is doing is this is pulling in all of the sports book data across the industry. FanDuel, Draft, King Caesars etc. This is the data behind the scenes that these apps like prize picks, like better picks use to set their lines appropriately, right? So when you see the lines changing all over the place, uh, maybe a number is different than what you saw earlier in the day. It is because they are changing it based on market data. So Daily Grand Fantasy Optimizer is pulling in the market data for us here. And you can see the best possible prop on the better picks board is the Jamal Murray over 9.5 rebounds and assists because it is favored on every single sports book to go over. Minus 138 on the over on FanDuel, minus 135 on the over on Caesars, 
minus 145 on the over on Fliff if you were to go over to Fliff. So every single one of these sports books is charging us a cost to take the over here. And they're making us pay more to win because it is more than likely he's going to go over. That's how that works. So you'd have to risk, for instance, on FanDuel, $138 to win $100. That's how those odds are going to work. And on better picks, I'll go ahead and pull up my Discord here, the KJK University tab. You can see that the best possible plays that you can play for long-term investment, long-term return on investment are going to be six-pick dynamic play and five-pick dynamic plays. Why is that? Because it's a fixed payout structure on better picks. No matter what prop we take that we place in our slips, we're going to be getting charged minus 121 juice. So when you pull up all these sports books odds, Minus 138 on FanDuel, minus 125 on DraftKings, minus 135 on BetMGM, minus 135 on Caesars, etc. Guys, doesn't matter what they're listing them at. We're getting 121 no matter what, as long as we're playing it in a five-pick dynamic play or a six-pick dynamic play on better picks, which I had already discussed. I'm locking these into a six-pick dynamic play. If one of these were to get bumped and or removed, you could certainly go ahead and lock it in to a five-pick dynamic play. And it still would be the optimal slip type because we're getting charged the same exact amount of juice, the same price, right? So hopefully that's helpful to you. Hopefully that makes sense. That's why I play the type of slips that I do on every single platform. Uh, for those of you that are wondering why I'm only playing like five pick dynamics and six pick dynamics, here is a sneak peek behind the paywall of some stuff I have going on in the Discord that I offer. That explains exactly why we're getting the best bang for our buck. So think of it as you're going to the grocery store and you're getting the best cost on an item, right? So that'll be our first play, not available on prize picks. Once again, you'll notice a trend throughout this video. A lot of these plays, pretty much every single one of these plays outside of Jokic is not going to be available on prize picks. The Jokic rebound prop is available on prize picks. For those of you that play over there, you could certainly lock that in here uh, because it's the same exact line, right? So Jamal Murray, pick number one. Pick number two, let's talk about Michael Porter Jr. Pick number two, Michael Porter Jr. over 5.5 rebounds. Once again, as you can see, guys, side-by-side -side comparison here, price picks compared to better picks. Michael Porter Jr. has already been bumped up to 6.0 even rebounds on price picks. Why is that? Because there's really good value to be had on his over 5.5 rebounds. We can go ahead and pull up the Odd Jam Sportsbook screen, another tool that you will find me using frequently throughout the day. Once again, I would highly recommend this tool if you are doing your own research. Uh... Promo code KJKDFS, you get 35% off this one. It's going to be the same exact concept, right? But this is the sportsbook screen. This is as detailed as it can get. Minus 156 on the over on Pinnacle on the rebounds for Michael Porter Jr. Pinnacle is the sharpest sportsbook in the entire world. For those of you that do not know, they accept winning sports bettors. They don't limit winning sports bettors to make it short. A lot of other sports books, such as Pretty much uh, the majority of them out there will limit you the second that you really start to win a lot of money. Pinnacle has a much different business model. They're going to accept the winning sports bettors. They're going to allow them to bet as much as they can, and they're going to change their lines based on the action coming in on the, from those sports bettors. So um, he's been bumped to the six even. You'd have to risk $156 to win $100 on Pinnacle, which once again, they set the sharpest possible lines, right? So it, it's a big deal. And you're getting minus 119 implied odds in a five or six pick flex on prize picks if you were to place it there. We can't get it there though because it's not available on better picks. Once again, we're going to be getting that 121 implied odds on Michael Porter Jr. So we want to be taking advantage, locking it in on better picks while we can and capturing that value on their app. Okay, so that'll be pick number two. Same concept here. Pick Number three, we'll go ahead and break down. Anthony Edwards under 12.5 rebounds and assists. Once again, it is bumped down to 12.0 even on prize picks. Why is that? Let's go ahead. Once again, what is the data going into this? Why is prize picks changing this line on the back end? Like, What is their algorithm telling us, right? The other guy on Fantasy Optimizer, we can go ahead and pull it right back up and get an answer for you very quickly as to why this is bumped on prize picks. It is the best possible prop that you could be placing on better picks according to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. And what is the data going in behind it? Why is this? It's minus 140 on the under on FanDuel. It's all the way down to 11.5 on both DraftKings and ESPN Bet. 
Um, so they're offering at an entire one point down from the 12 and a half mark, favored on the under on Caesars, and all the way down to 11.5 on Cliff as well. So there's very clearly a trend in the market going down towards the under on the 12.5 line, right? The 11.5 line, he's gonna be favored on the over, there's plus money on the under. Uh, but if you can capture this at the 12.5 line, uh, there's very clearly some value to be had. On the under here, price fix has gone ahead and bumped him down. We want to be taking advantage on better picks where we can still capture that value at the 12.5 line. And then to wrap things up here, guys, those are going to be really the one, two, three core plays here. Jokic is going to be available on prize picks as we discussed. But then when we're breaking down the last plays that we can't get on prize picks, the next one is going to be Mr. Carl Anthony Towns. Rebounds. You can see once again, he's at 7.0 on price picks, indicating in this case, there is good value on his over 6.5 rebounds. So that will certainly be the next prop that we will discuss here. And we'll go ahead and pull up our Odds Jam Sportsbook screen so we can get the most detailed analysis possible as to why he is bumped up. Similar story, the best possible place that you can place this prop is going to be on better picks, guys. It's literally the best possible place that you can lock in this prop because his average odds across the entire industry, across all these sports books, I have 184 sports books selected. 6.6 .6 on the rebounds, minus 134.7 on his over, minus 150 on the over on Pinnacle. I just discussed all those concepts as far as Pinnacle and what makes it the sharpest sports book in the world, right? So if you were listening to that, it's very significant that it's going to be minus 150 there when we're paying minus 121 in a five pick or a six pick dynamic play on better picks. So you're getting really good bang for your buck. He's already been bumped up to seven even on prize picks and he's already been bumped up to seven even on underdog fantasy. Both of these are massive platforms that have really good advanced algorithms of the same sort of concept of these props apps, you know, that are going to bump props. But on better picks, once again, they don't have pushes. So it's really important to understand this stuff and it's really important to get the better picks app so you can be taking advantage of this value. That's why I wanted to make this video here today to share this value that you can't capture on price picks, right? And then our final two picks, you can get Jokic. Um, on prize picks, I do have interest in his assists and rebounds prop. Both of them haven't been bumped yet on prize picks. So there's two prize picks picks for you. If you haven't locked in any prize picks action yet today and you want some picks, Nikola Jokic over 11.5 rebounds and assists is going to be a fantastic one. Uh, and to round out this six pick dynamic play, I do have a fantasy score prop. There are no fantasy score props posted yet on um, Price picks, but I do like Rudy Gobert's over 31.5 fantasy points on better picks here for the full six pick dynamic play. So for the first one, we have Nikola Jokic over 11.5 rebounds. We have Jamal Murray uh, over those rebounds and assists, as we discussed, right? Because you can't capture that on price picks. All of these plays have been bumped up to an even line on price picks because there's too good a value on where the line is set. So Take advantage here. Full six pick dynamic for the first one. I have two, and they're good. one's going to include the Jokic assists, and one's going to include the Jokic rebounds. For me, I was comfortable putting two units, you know, one of each, because these are all plays that we can't capture on prize picks. There's good value on Jokic's rebounds and assists as well. Um, so 11, over 11.5 rebounds on Jokic, over 9.5 rebounds and assists on Jamal Murray, over 5.5 rebounds on Michael Porter Jr. Under 12.5 rebounds and assists on Anthony Edwards, over 6.5 rebounds on Carl Anthony Towns, and over 31.5 fantasy score for Rudy Gobert. I've got Rudy Gobert going out there and scoring in the mid 30s in fantasy score. Uh, the only difference in fantasy scoring on better picks, which is a big deal, but I want to make it known if you see fantasy scores different on prize picks and better picks, it is different because blocks and steals only count as two on uh, better picks. On prize picks, they're going to count as three. So Definitely something to note there. If you're seeing that fantasy scores are lower on better and you're like, that's great value compared to prize picks, just be careful. It could be a trap because the prize picks fantasy scoring format is a little bit different. Uh, but anyways, that'll be ticket number one. 
And then ticket number two, we're just going to talk about the uh, Jokic assists, which I talked about. I liked as well. It'll be the same picks just with the Jokic assists. So I'll pull that up just to review it. So here is my second one, guys. Once again, it's going to be the same core five, just the Jokic um, prop will be the other one that I like on him. So Jamal Murray over nine and a half rebounds and assists. Michael Porter Jr. over 5.5 rebounds. Carl Anthony Towns over 6.5 rebounds. Anthony Edwards under 12 and a half rebounds and assists. Rudy Gobert over 31 and a half fantasy points. And the Nikola Jokic over 8.5 assists, right? So love these props. Um, the Jokic assists and rebounds, it's the same concept we discussed, right, guys, where he's going to be heavily favored uh, across the industry on the over on both of those props. So I'll save you some time on reviewing those just to wrap up the video. But it's the same concept for him. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the content. If you did, it would be really appreciated if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload, guys. Go ahead and download the Better Picks app now. Use that promo code KJKDFest. They're going to match up to $250. That's a huge deposit match bonus. And once again, all props that we can't get on price picks, they've been bumped. Um, so it's a huge deal to get it the best possible value you can get. There's a good chance that some of these props are going to get removed or bumped, guys. If that happens, I apologize. It's just a sign that your process is on point. If you're sick of that, you're like, I'm sick of watching this guy's video, is that every time I pull it up, the props are bumped or gone. Get the VIP. It's $49.99 a month. Um, $1.66 a day, and that's going to cut out the middleman, the upload time, the editing, all that stuff. As soon as I place my picks, you get notified right away, right? So I'm never going to promote anything on the channel that I'm not playing myself. I do send them into the VIP as soon as I place them. I will pull it up right now. This is just to prove that not only do I put it, my own money on it, but I also send it in to my paying members, right? So I take these picks very serious. I really want them to go well. If they don't go well, I'm losing money. My members are losing money, right? I have a four-star Rating on this play, which means we're just deploying one unit. If it was five stars, it would be two units, three stars, gonna be half a unit, two stars, it's a quarter of a unit, one star is like a fun play. If there's like a home run derby event or something going on, we wanna have some fun with. So you can see, already sent that in for my first one, and number two, already sent it in as well. So um, I am locked in with these picks. My VIP members are locked in with these picks, and I'm sharing them here for free on the channel with you today, hoping to get everybody some wins. If you're a prize picks user and you're looking for some plays, um, I do like both of those Jokic props, as I discussed. Uh, so there's some Jokic props you could be locking in as well. So um, that's all for me in this one. Wishing you all the best of luck on your better picks NBA player props tonight, and we will see you in the next one.